My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create a sales invoice in Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations Business Edition. You create a sales invoice or sales order to record your agreement with the customer to sell certain products on a certain delivery and payment terms. There are a couple of scenarios where you must use a sales order instead of an invoice. To the two examples would be if the company needs to ship only part of an order quantity, for example, because the full quantity is not on hand, or if the company sells items that the vendor delivers directly to the customer, also known as drop shipment. So to create a new sales invoice, once you've discovered that you need to, let's go down to the sales module here. And then we go to sales invoices. When you're ready to create a new one, just click the plus new here at the top. Once that loads here, you can then enter a customer's name. If you wanted to type in, you can type in that, or we can type in the number, either one. Select that customer, and then you'll see here the rest of the customer info will populate from the customer setup. Now go down here, and we can then fill in the remaining uh, items. So if we go down to lines here, here we can type in the item that we want to sell to them. So here we can either choose one from our list or we can just type in something that isn't on this list. Um, if that's the case, it just won't be tracked, its inventory won't be tracked. So let's just select this chair right here and then you put in the quantity and we'll put three and then give it a second and it'll update here as the line amount excluding tax. So once you enter all your line items here you'll see below here that these numbers will update as you enter more items and you can also then click on fields just to show what they mean and how they're calculated or where they where the field is coming from so once you've done with that we can enter in discounts if we need to um, if there's one set up on the customer it'll come through and you and they are eligible it'll come through automatically otherwise you could type in a five here and it would include a five percent discount right there if we scroll down to the invoice details um, we can enter the payment terms that we uh, agreed with the customer um, if you have any uh, dimensions set up those could go here too and then we have the ship to address that comes from the default from the customer, but we can change it to alternate ones. Same with the bill to. So once you have are okay with everything, we have two posting options. We can just post or we can also post and send in an email as long as their email address is set up in the customer card. So when you are done, click post. For more information, please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info at loganconsulting.com or via phone at 312-345-8800.